Wie geht es allen? Ich heiße Barry and today we're going to be talking about the paper leather derbies from Carol Christian Paul. I'm not going to do much of a preamble this time, let's just get right to it. So the first thing you will notice about the derbies is that they, well, they come in the new packaging, in the new rice bag. These were part of the in-between collection. Uh, so this was the new rice bag where the zipper is on top of the bag rather than down the front. Now, the next thing you would notice is that the uh, the old German army um, box, I don't know what you call them, uh, they make a comeback here. And it makes for a pretty handy carrier. This is the code. It's uh, AM 2597, AM for male, 2597 is the model. Uh, these are the new folded derbies. Uh, IN is the, is, well, basically denotes the new in-between collection. Pakal PTC, uh, Pakal is paper calf, I'll get into more into, into the material later. Let's get to it. I actually got these a year ago at the library in London. So I've been wearing them quite a bit since. What, I guess what, what really pulls me to this is, well, really the texture of that paper leather. It's quite unlike anything I've ever seen. Um, I'm not super familiar with the old paper leather versions of, of yeah, the other stuff that Carol used to make, but when these were announced with the new in-between collection, it was, um, it was pretty much the standout for me. What is quite interesting about it is that this is meant to be a color 10 which is black. Uh, so what they do to it is it's a combination of calf leather which has been bonded to a paper. Um, it's not really paper but it's kind of like a tire pack material it's, that's been bonded to the surface so it gives it a bit of, bit of a waterproof uh, resistance uh, to the leather. And the marbling appearance that, that's generated as a result of this bonding process, it's almost organic. I don't know if you can see it, but the more you wear it, and especially at the stress points, you, know, you can see at the eyelets, uh, the, uh, the, and at the, at the toe box here, the stress points become more white over time as the paper is separated from the leather itself. So it gives like this really organic growth of the shoe <laughs> that sort of like, grows together with you as the wearer. You can also see that over time the parts that I guess rub more against my, my, my foot, uh, the opening over here, the paper has started to fray a little bit. And there are pictures of, um, of, of the paper leather shoes being like absolutely fucked up. There is this one f picture I recall from Peter, uh, the owner of Ink Clothing in Hong Kong. He had these Pakal sneakers that were totally wrecked, right? Uh, it, it looked like basically a fuzzy shoe because of, of how much it had broken down and deteriorated. The, the fibers of the paper were really popping up like, 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 um, like a fuzz, peach fuzz almost. I'm gonna take this out. <clears throat> The lining on the inside, um, it's got the uh, it's pin dots over here. The lining on the inside is kangaroo. We've got the, uh, the insole as well. And the interesting thing about it is <clears throat> what I find is that the difference between this folded derbies and the older folded derbies, there seems to have been some improvements made almost like a conscious improvement on Carol's part to make his shoes more wearable. So the toe box is actually wider, rounder than you would recognize from the older derbies. And the insoles are thicker and softer and squishier. And then there are the cripsoles. So these are what really give the shoe its silhouette. Cripsoles, the thick ass cripsoles. 
really soft, really squishy. It really feels like you're walking on them, like, like wearing sneakers almost. These are the most comfortable sneaker-like shoes I've ever worn from Carol. The combination of that, yeah, of the soft insoles and the uh, squishy outsoles, it's perfect and I wear it with everything from jeans to shorts uh, to even formal wear because uh, I mean, it's got the look of, of regular derbies and oxfords, right? <clears throat> You'll also notice that the difference with the, um, the older folded derbies is that it's the, the laces aren't as tight anymore. The old derbies used to have that really narrow um, midsection and it opens up really wide at the toes. This is without a doubt the most comfortable pair of shoes I own and I wear it so often more than any other of the Carol shoes that I own. One more thing I forgot to mention about uh, on the topic of improvements that Carol has made to the shoes is the laces. If you've seen any of the old uh, derby laces, they're quite thin, very flat, and they snap quite easily. So these ones are actually a massive improvement. It might not look as sleek, um, but it's got a lot more durability to it. See that it's also been object tanned together with the shoes, so you've got some fair spots on the, the laces. These thicker cord type laces, yep, hold up a lot better. I think it just gives it a lot more of a, I don't know, badass look like it. It, it doesn't look as genteel as the older derbies. I think that's part of the appeal uh, why I like them so much because it goes with a variety of looks. <clears throat> right now I'm wearing them with my DBS shorts and they work quite well. No socks either, very comfortable on the inside. Yeah, um, thanks for watching. Um, let me know in the comments what are the, uh, the, the next items you would like me to look at or review uh, and let me know if you've got a pair what's your experience like with the officers do you actually want to get a pair for yourself thanks guys cheers